So this look that I did today was a gold, orange, and blue look. Super easy. Super simple. It's just something I wanted to do and just, you know, just put something on my YouTube. Like, how many times have I make a YouTube and don't put no videos on it? So this is the look. And I love it. It's super dewy. As you can see, the highlight is going on. Very simple. Anybody could do this look. Your grandma, your auntie, anybody could do this look. And I love this look. This is an all-time look that I would always do with anything. X out the blue under it. But if you like what you see, continue watching, girls. pencil and I'm gonna just be filling in that area of my eyebrows going in the same direction just making them look all the same just getting in those areas that is a little bit lighter I'm gonna go in with my spoolie going with my NYX concealer in the two darkest colors I'm going to use my tip of my um, concealer, my LA Girl Pro, because I feel like it's more easier for me than using a brush. So it's very easier for me. And I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild brush and just buffing out that area and blending it in. So make sure everything is everywhere and just blend it in nicely. Spooling them again, making sure the hair is going in the same direction. And then I'm going to go in with my Black Radiance Eye Primer. Put that on top of my eye and blend it in with my finger. Make sure everything is blended. Going in with that concealer again in Almond and the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And just dabbing that and blending that in. I feel like it's more easier. Make sure eyeshadow going very smooth and nicely. And then I'm going to go in with my Sasha Buttercup. And I'm going to just put some on top of my eyelids. I do this with both of my eyelids. So everything can be smooth and everything can blend out correctly. Thanks to B. Marie because you taught me this. Thank you. Just blend that in. And then I'm going to go with my MAC and Brown Script and my E22 brush in Morph. And I'm just going to go in the crease area and just dab that in dab 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 so and I'm gonna go with my take me to Brazil palette I'm gonna go with that orange and that red and mix that together just give it a little darker orange and honestly, with the Take Me to Brazil, it's very not pigmented. You have to put a base on. So you're going to see me keep going in because you have to build this up. <laughs> you have to build this up. So I'm building up, building up, building up with this eyeshadow. You have to put a base or you're not going to get a good outlook on it. So I'm going to go again with my almond eyeshadow. Now it's time for the eyeshadow. I'm packing that on. Make sure it's nice and smooth with my concealer under it. And then I'm going to go with my All Nighter Urban Decay. I'm going with the color Sin. And I'm just going to go at the top. I'm still using my Wet n Wild brush. Just packing that on. Just blending out the area. Packing it on. Blending out the area. Packing some more on. Get it on, blending it out. Just wiping that area off. I'm using my Morphe 24G palette with the dark. Oh, well, I don't know what happened. It just, I guess my camera fell off. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go on my orange corrector and I'm gonna go in and blend that in in the areas where I have darker areas, hyperpigmentation. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna just blend that out all over the dark marks that I have or the area that's uneven. This really works. I'm going to take my NYX matte spray, spray it on my face. Now I'm going to go with my 355. And I'm going to go with my Anastasia Beverly Hill and Espresso Concealer Stick. I'm just going to go all over that and put a lighter color out in the area. 
Then I'm gonna blend out with my Real Techniques brush. I believe it's a buffing brush. My favorite brush, one of my brushes I always use. I'm gonna just blend that out, put some more lighter color. And just buff that out and make sure everything is buff and everything is blended seamlessly. Then I'm gonna go with the LA Girl Pro Almond again, put under my eyes for my concealer area. Make sure that's thin, make sure that's buff. Spray with my next spray. I'm gonna go in under my eye and buff that out and blend that out. Under the eye and blend my other eye with everything. Make sure everything is blended in. I'm gonna go back in with my Sasha Buttercup. This is so good for creasing. If you don't want creasing and you don't want that problem, please get your Sasha Buttercup because it really works for me. It's a really good product. I've been using it for two years. I love it. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go with my Fit Me in 360 and I'm gonna go with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer Kit and I'm gonna go with the darkest color and I'm gonna go in and blend that area out. Blend, blend, blend it out. Let it set for a little while. Then I'm gonna go in. I believe this is the Echo Tools. And I'm not wiping it away. I'm like, you know, blending it into my skin, pushing it in. Sometimes I do that. I'm gonna go with my Maybelline Falsies mascara, my favorite mascara ever. I just love it. It's just, you know, it separates my brows because, you know, my eyelashes. I meant, sorry. I'm going to go on my Ardell Minx in Wispies. I love these because they're so natural looking. It's not too much. I just love these. I'm going to go with my I Envy Super Flex glue. I really don't like to use hair glue. Most girls like to use hair glue. I'm not using it. It's not ripping out my eyes. So, yeah. I'm going to just go in and put this on my brow. Okay, put that on. This is the part that I hate. Oh my god, you guys. Like, this is the part I gotta make sure it's on nice and neat. Make sure it's not poking me and just making sure it's on. So, you're gonna see me keep touching them and like putting them down. Put the other one on. I always keep pressing it. Make sure it's down. Make sure it's not poking up. Make sure it's down. Pressing, 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 pressing. Pressing my eye, real eyelashes into this. You know, just making sure it's not, you know, a mess. <laughs> so that's what you see me keep doing, keep doing. Okay. Now, I'm going to go in. I'm looking for something. What the hell am I looking for? <laughs> I'm going to go back in with my all-nighter powder, and I'm going to go in the color Fringe, that nice blue teal color to go under there, just to give a little action under there, under my eyes. Just go under there. Then I'm going to go back in with my e.l.f. mascara. I use a different mascara under my eyes because it separates a little bit more, and it's very waxy. For some reason, it's by e.l.f. It's a waxy. I notice this mascara is very waxy. That could be a good or a bad thing, but it's a good thing. And I'm going to go with my Posh Medics Cosmetics. And I'm going to go into my tear duct area. Just blend that area out again of that eyeshadow. Go in on my brow bone. And I'm going to put the Posh Medics Cosmetics. I don't even remember the color. I think it's called Bean Queen, I believe. I'm going to take one of my Echo Tools brushes and I'm going to go in with that highlight. I love this highlighter. I had this highlighter for like two years. And a little bit goes a long way. So you don't have to use a lot. And it's very pigmented. I use this on me and my clients. I just love, love this. Oh my God. I have to try some others. But this is the one for me that I would always get over and over and over again. Because it works on any skin tone. It's very pretty. Makes you look very dewy. I'm going to go in with that same brown pencil by Eden and Zark Brown. And I'm going to go in. And I'm going to use this um, lip gloss. It's called Milan in NYX. It's just a light pink color. I'm going to go with my Ruby Kisses. It has like glitter pigments in it. And I'm going to go in with the same highlighter that I use and put it on my lips. It just does something for me. So that's what I'm going to do. Spray my face again. And I'm done. 
Bye, guys. I hope you guys like the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for sticking around just to watch me. Thank you so much. I'm going to be doing more videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will be back this week dropping videos, hair videos, you know, beauty videos, anything you guys like. Just comment below and tell me what look what you guys like me to do next. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.